Give thanks. Give thanks and praise. Greetings across the earth. Greetings, free people. Alien and nationality. Public Law 8531. Again, true, we are dealing with a public arena, public venue. We kind of use a public law that's published out there. And not necessarily private acts or acts of commerce. So we work with the public law accordingly, just for the sharing of the information. And we set title here, chapter 11, subsection 1, subchapter 1, subsection 1101, definitions. Remember, we are talking about aliens and nationality. And we are using it as a, the United States of America laws as it applies only because on the island here you won't find nothing in our documentation depicting national status and then subtly remove the dual citizenship, which was evidence. So if you never know, you will never know. This is why we share information. Now it's a definition. Number three, it's a alien. The term alien means a, any person, not a citizen or a national of the United States. It must say United States of America, you know, just say of the United States. Remember, the United States is the fiscal agency, the parent corporation, United States of America. Fifteen. May your mainland people I'm always use immigrant, immigrant, immigrant. So we'll look at the term. The term immigrant means every alien. Now remember, alien is a person who is not a citizen or a national of the United States. So, an immigrant is a, means every alien except an alien who is within one of the following classes of non-immigrant aliens. And in a 15, I'll give you a long list of the specific classes and we can go through that at the next time, but you know, just to maintain time and stay on this point, we can just look at that information later. Again, anyone can type in this information and let me see. Now, 21 says the term national means any person owing permanent allegiance to a state. You notice how state is written. Lowercase, not all cap, not up and lowercase, just allegiance to a state. And this is a national. And we will go to 22, and then we'll go back to 21. 22, so the term national of the United States means A, a citizen of the United States, or B, a person who, though not a citizen of the United States, who owes permanent allegiance to the United States. And remember, you know, the United States is a fiscal agency for the parent corporation. That would be the United States of America. We always share information about these definitions. As we go forward, we can touch it. We'll go back to 21 where it says the term national means any person owing permanent allegiance to a state. I must say sample of an example. State. A, as in my estate, the house of Dallas, which is my estate, and the society, our work Indian nation in America, and the laws thereof established by or ordinance of estate as evidence 
and supported by the Superior Court of Record document published for the public record number 3343 as public law located at the Island Records Office, Registrar General Department. So when a man hear me as a house of Dallas, them thing here yeah, where we establish and document, how you do that? You put it in writing and publish it out there. No different from what these foreign people does. You, you know, the moment you attain the level of comprehension and knowledge, you know, such as how we try to apply yourself, then you can choose to act. You don't need permission from absolutely no crown agent. No man or woman out there. How? Why? In what capacity? No. And we can demonstrate it again. Public record number 3343. On the Island Records Office. Records Office. See? And there you'll find the Superior, superior Court of Record document so when we are speak only because people might not comprehend or have the knowledge of what we really are trying to express then we <coughs> probably ignore our shun or act as if we not exist however again when I am on say I'm a non-citizen national of this location it's just that there is such a classification. Yeah, man. And with the people them on the mainland where I use the DS11 form, the new form seems to be a bit restrictive. But when I use the DS11 2016 form, it's more expressive. And what is first is usually choice. So when these people try to hide the process, the remedies from the populace, then it's incumbent on us to apply ourselves and do the research, do the search, the due diligence search. So if you are present a form, you are present a specific form because of, you know what I mean? your specific capacity. And again, step by step out the people. The next issue I want to touch on is unsworn declaration on the penalty of perjury. And again, we direct ones to the public law 94-550, section 1A. And I should put the code in this location so people can access it easily. However, it has said whenever under any law of the United States or under any rule, regulation, order, or requirement made pursuant to law, so under any law of the United States, that's one, right? Or, optional, under any rules, like whatever rules we have here on the location, regulation, we have regulation on this location, order, we have order, constitution order, 1962, or requirements. So one side can apply to the United States over this as an agency, and because some as a rule, regulation, order, and our requirement, it can apply to the agency known as the government of Jamaica here, that fiscal agency. And it's a made pursuant to law, right? This is why it can apply to us here. Any matter is required or permitted to be supported, evidence established, or proved 
by the sworn declaration, verification, certificate, like certificate of fact, statement, oath, or affidavit in writing, oath, or affidavit. So you can use a sworn declaration, a verification, a certificate, a statement, a oath, or an affidavit. Everything now for being affidavit form. And if you not choose to make an affidavit, then you can make your statement, your certificate, your verification, or your declaration. In writing of the person making the same, other than a deposition or an oath of office or an oath required to be taken before a specified official, other than a notary public. Now, Dama said, such matter may with like force, with like force, and effect be certified, be certificate. Let me don't go too far. Again, such matter may with like force and effect be supported, evidence established or proved by the unsworn declaration certificate, verification, or statement in writing of such person which is subscribed by him as true under penalty of perjury and dated in substantially the following form. Now I think this is a little subtlety where number one, if executed without the United States, what that mean? That means outside of the jurisdiction of the United States or outside of the jurisdiction of the government of Jamaica. And then he write, I declare or certify verify or state under penalty of perjury under the laws of the United States of America, not the United States, that the following is true and correct, executed on date such and such, and then your signature or your mark. And this is when you are outside the jurisdiction of the corporation or the fiscal agency. Any which one. Anywhere at all. So you have, you have a de jure area and a de facto area. The de jure area would be the United States of America. And the de facto area would be the United States incorporated yeah, as a fiscal agency. No different from the government of Jamaica. You understand? I remember, you know, we have come from British, where the British have said them govern things, take over from, 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 from Spain. And the British issue a constitution order, which is a mandate or a sanction, 1962, creating this crown agency known as the government of Jamaica. So number two says, if executed within the United States, meaning within the jurisdiction, that means the United States have talked. Without the United States, they have no talk. So it's a, if executed within the United States, its territories, possession, or commonwealth, or commonwealth, so even when I talk about commonwealth, I have to know how I approach this thing. You have to write it, I declare or certify, verify or state under penalty of perjury, the following foregoing is true and correct, executed, on the date and then a signature. Now, what's the difference here? The difference is that, number one, outside, without the United States, you are clear under penalty of perjury, and then you have state the law, under the law of the United States of America, which would be the constitutional area. And now, on number two, 
You hear what it said? You just because you're in a corporate capacity. Probably a involuntary slave because you know know that's what it is. Then you know need to state the laws. God, now they must say you certify under penalty of perjury, but it must say under no law that the foregoing is true and correct. Now you know say under the laws of the United States of America. So this is two separate and distinct jurisdiction, two separate and distinct areas, two separate and distinct entities. I hope my people are get them basic clarity here. And forgive me when we, you know, trip up and fall all over ourselves here. But I'm quite sure, you know, you should be able to comprehend that a national, when we say we are a national, we owe permanent allegiance to our estate, House of Dallas, to our society, our Indian nation in America. And we have the documentation for the public record, number 3343, as public law. Uh, this is where it's published. You understand? And if you type in a YouTube superior court of record, that information should come up. And I'm not sure if I make it private. If I did, I'll probably open it up for just a few. So again, people, I just clarity, you know, as we move forward. It's just clarity. So when people are say, you know, you have to swore. We not swore. We just declare or we affirm. You get me? Yeah. Or yes is yes and or no is no, you know? So with this kind of clarity, as we move forward, we should avoid a lot of the hazards that is out there because we are being specific. And this is the area when you are outside the jurisdiction of the corporation. Understand? And this is the area when you're a subject person, put it that way. So this is how you're going to have to express yourself in their jurat areas. Yeah, man. All right, since we're there, I'm going to look upon this term. Number 11, diplomatic visa mean a non-immigrant visa. Not an immigrant visa. Diplomatic visa mean a non-immigrant visa bearing the title. And what is the title? That name. And issued to a non-immigrant in accordance with such regulation as the Secretary of State may prescribe. So you have to know your thing as, and, you know, structure yourself a specific kind of way. Number 13 says entry means any coming of an alien member, alien or non-citizen, non non-national of the United States. So any alien coming into the United States from a foreign port or place or from an outlining possession, whether voluntary or otherwise, that means that whether you are coming here voluntary or you are coming here as a slave. Uh, involuntary, you know, meaning say boy, you know, like you have any option. Except that an alien having a lawful permanent residence. So this is the different it has a status. Lawful permanent residence in the United States. Not the United States of America. This is the corporate area. Fiscal agency shall not be regarded as making an entry into the United States for the purpose of the immigration laws if the alien proves to the satisfaction of the Attorney General that that means the notification need for go to them location yeah, if necessary. That is departure to a foreign port or place or to an outlining possession was not intended 
or reasonably to be expected by him or his presence in a foreign port or place or in an outlying possession was not voluntary. That means that uh, them probably show you out. Provided that no person whose departure from the United States was occasioned by deportation proceeding, extradition, or other legal process shall be held to be entitled to such exception. Interesting. All this now we have to break it down in a little bit more simpler way. So it has uh, immigration laws if the alien prove to the attorney general his departure to a foreign port or place <clears throat> was not voluntary. Departing from where? That's the question. All right, so if you enter, so if you depart from your location anywhere, and it's not voluntary, that's, that's the what I'm going to talk about. You probably are extradited from Jamaica to the mainland USA. And then them so provided that no person whose departure from the United States. Now, this is from the United States. Was occasioned by deportation proceeding, extradition, or other legal process shall be held to be, shall be held to be entitled to such exception. I like this. I like this. This is why we as a people have to upgrade with status. And this is what I've done here on this island. However, our unlearned crown agents now have this kind of information. So we have to bring it forward and make them create an area and go one side, get out our way, get out our business. The term foreign state include outlining possession of a foreign state, but self-governing dominions or territories under mandate like how we get order from Britain or trusteeship like how we have treaty with the US by way of the birth certificate or the birth trust and the birth certificate bond at surety. The term immigration visa means an immigrant Remember, immigrant and non-immigrant visa required by this chapter and properly issued by a counselor's office, by a counselor officer at his office outside the United States that are like home, murad upon the island and will go for the embassy to take care of business to an eligible immigrant. But we can never be an immigrant when we are American in our land. So we now got subscribe to being an immigrant, now a non-immigrant. We are national. You understand? This is our status. National. Not, not immigrant. So when I lift up from the mainland, from this location, go on the mainland, I'm a national. You get me? I'm going to tell you what a national is. Not a national of the United States. A national who owes allegiance to a state. And what is a state? Or a state? House of Dallas. Yeah, man, I work Indian nation in America. That's society. That's it. Yeah, man. The term immigration law include this chapter and all laws, conventions, and treaties. Laws, conventions, and treaties of the United States relating to the immigration, exclusion, deportation, or expulsion of aliens. So we know sir, our location of treaty with the US people around that. So this is why these things apply. Now them have a place in you know, the DS eleven where them say proof of identity. 
And if you cannot prove, you, you, if you cannot provide documentary evidence of identity as stated above, you must appear with an identifying witness who is a, what's the status then? A U.S. citizen? A non-U.S. A non-citizen national? Uh, uh, on the location, uh, our people are clueless to these things. Or a permanent resident alien. Because we, our construct is set up in such a way where them just a order, we a boss with. That's like the way a mandate, a sanction. However, them say you have Commonwealth citizen and citizen of Jamaica. Dual citizenship. 1989 passport evidence that support that statement and claim. However, these new carry come. I don't know where it comes from. That's why I'm a bond the foreign minister's office because she is aware of my information and they don't they choose not to correct the record. This yellow face female, we don't want no more foreign people in an foreign officer that I represent with. Anybody we are represent this island nation better look like I after the Awak walk after be the, yeah, the one of these Mickey Mouse maroon type without knowledge. So come in here, Johnson Smith have to move along. We have enough for you with your yellow face and no knowledge. We have enough for you when you for vote for them stop the bombing. You know, the counterfeit Israeli state. You guys stand silent because your Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, is in bed with Benjamin Netanyahu. Yeah, that demonic Israeli Prime Minister of that counterfeit Israeli state. So you have to leave office. Yeah, man, and whoever has stepped forward cannot be the Prime Minister's wife. She can't become Minister of Foreign Affairs. And she wants to be House Speaker. And she wants to be everything. And listen, that won't work. Get over that eager trip, madam. Yeah, man. And for you, Prime Minister, I can call you Star Boy. Yeah. Salute to your beautiful daughter. And I will leave it right there, Mr. Prime Minister. So yes, they must say, once you can provide documentary evidence, so like all my warrior them, and good people them, on the mainland where Seboa them enter that area with a visa, but it expired. But at the time, they weren't aware of their status as Awak Indian, as American Indian, as the original people of this location, non-African. They weren't aware. Now that you become aware, then this is the approach we have to make. You have to step down there with a U.S. citizen or a non-citizen national or a permanent resident alien that has known you for at least Two years. You understand? And then A, your witness must prove his or her identity and complete and sign an affidavit of identifying witness. Form DS-71. Before the acceptance agent. And that's a B, you know, warrior, warriors must also submit some identification of your own. When I say submit some identification of your own, this is when you can present your own identification. Probably you have a world passport. Probably you don't have no state document. You just make up your own ID and get it verified, certified by any anybody. 
probably a notary, probably a justice of the peace, probably two or three witnesses, probably a quorum witness, four, four witnesses, but two witnesses can suffice. Yeah, because uh, by the mouth of two or more witnesses, a matter is established. So we have to take it grassroots, we have to take it simple, ancestral style. And remember, this is the Awak. Indian nation in America, not a tribe, a nation. Yeah, this is the society. Yes. So as we go along, we share information to bring honorable clarification for our people. And we try to read a little, write a little, and present what we are present in a document form. So don't worry about you see my flag over here, you see my crown over here, and you see my, my, my crest over here, you know? House crest. Yeah. This is my insignia, my banner, this is, you know? Yeah. Oh, we demonstrate who and what we are and what we are about separate. And this thing separate and apart from the Crown Agency known as the Government of Jamaica or the United States Incorporated. Anyway, I hope this is not too long. Uh, what people not really sit down long, but them information here, yeah, information for make you can travel about without visa. What kind of visa requirement? Are you an immigrant? We are no immigrants here. Yeah, man. I want to need permission to express myself or declare ourselves. Just let truth rain, though the heavens may fall. Let truth rain out there. Demonstrate your knowledge, people. Express yourself freely. Yeah, man. Step by step, people. Step by step. Salute. Our walk. Indian nation in America, our people, set apart folks. Yeah, just like how we can say salute to all other organization, association, yeah, or uh, whatever kind of, you know, togetherness ones and ones choose to express out there. Yeah, we can coexist harmoniously. Yeah, once we have clarity, we truly can let peace reign. Yeah, with truth. Gratitude for the time, gratitude for the moment, and again, complete gratitude for the subscribers. Salute to my mainland people. To me, American Indians over there. Yeah, man. We are many, many different tribes. This is why you see so much people have them names out there. Me and you know have the same name. And me and you might have the same name. Me can run the ancestral lineage and see how we link up. So don't get carried away. Make people tell you about your name and foreign people name and all that mess that. Establish your house. House of Dallas. I no need no house of representative. I no need none of these unlearned crown agents talk about them and represent me. If I'm gonna live so long and never have none of those representation, why would I need it now? And I never got to no government asking for absolutely nothing at all. Nothing at all. Outside of you doing your fiduciary duty as public trustees out there. 
am your boss, whether you like it or not. We, the people, are the boss. It's just that most of us as a people are not cognizant of that truth. That's all it is. So let truth rain out there. Whether you demonic folks like it or not. Yeah, man. Let truth, which is light, dispel the lies, which is darkness out there. Yeah, man. Let truth rain, people. Gratitude.